Nice to have you here. Thanks for being here. Okay, so I was just saying um, the Oracle card was clear quartz for tonight. And I'm going to just read out a couple of points because it's very relevant. Um, first of all, which surprised me, I kind of knew this, but um, it's really beautiful. 85% of the planet we're living on is made up of clear quartz or quartz. How amazing is that? So we're naturally getting charged up. This mother earth of ours, she's very clever, isn't she? <laughs> so clear quartz amplifies, stores, transmutes, transcends and retains energy. So it's a big charger, cleanses and charges up. Um, it moves light and energy in, into and out of the body as it clears and cleanses the energy field. So we'll be working with the energy of clear quartz tonight. Um, also known as a purification crystal, enhances and amplifies intentions, which is really nice. So we'll, we've got a group intention for tonight, which I will share. And it amplifies and deepens the love and wisdom from the universe. Well, we could all do with some of that. And it allows a deep sense of clarity in our life. So very nice crystal there. So I want to welcome everyone here to our Rise Above Healing Transmission. And this is our fifth week of running these uh, little online gatherings. And it's proven to be very helpful for all of the ups and downs that we're navigating. And mm, everyone here, yes, we're all uh, in Victoria, but this is something that many of us around Australia are experiencing. So I'm going to light our candle now and set our intention. Ooh. Uh, set our intention for the group, which is to raise our vibration so that we can raise the collective vibration, the collective vibration of the universe and planet Earth and the leaders of our world. So let's uh, bring in our focus for tonight and keep lifting our vibration. So what we might do is, um, I'll just explain a, just very briefly. My name's Daniela Hogarth, for those who don't know me well. I'm an energetic healer. I specialize in gut health, and I also focus on trauma and suicide prevention. Um, thankfully, because of those qualifications, I'm still able to work through this period. And I must say, it's been quite busy, uh, particularly just with uh, people reaching out through text message or emails or messenger, uh, just wanting some tips. So I think we're all in that same boat. We're all here for each other and people are reaching out. Um, so just check to see if there are people you haven't heard from a while. Don't, uh, don't be shy to go and check in with them uh, to see if they're okay. Because as we all, we've all been there before, sometimes if we're feeling a bit low, we don't feel like reaching out. Uh, so yeah, just tap a friend on the shoulder via text and just see, just see that we're all okay. So the reason for this group gathering is to give us a voice and give us something that we can do to contribute, to feel like we're doing something to help what's going on with this, uh, with this pandemic that's happening around us. Um, a lot of people, they don't feel like they're in the position to go out and protest. Uh, some people, they're not in the position in government or uh, in, in many ways, there's not a lot that we can do. But here in this group, what we're doing is we're coming together, we're meditating and we're sending out love to the universe, to our fellow friends and to the leaders of this world. And that does so much because what we're looking at here is more than just vaccines and mask wearing. This is about uh, light energy and uh, an infiltration of dark energy. And we know how powerful we are when we stand in our light. We know how incredibly powerful we are when we come together as a group, two or more people. It's not just our energy, it's the energy of us as a collective and then it amplifies and grows even more. So what we're sending out is very, very powerful energy tonight. And then the second part, after we do our meditation, 
we will uh, listen to what each other's going through. We will hold space. And this has proven to be so effective uh, for all of us because it makes us feel like we're not alone, uh, particularly with the viewpoints, the political viewpoints that some of us have here. Uh, we don't often have people that we can talk to. Yeah, there's a lot of messenger groups and chat groups, but actually verbally talking out loud, it's really nice to know uh, someone's listening and, and they get us. So it's really beautiful. Uh, so this book, a group came about because of a book that I recently published. And if you don't have a copy of it, I'm happy to send it to you for free. It's called Rise Above. It's a spiritual and physical protocol for the antidote of the vaccine uh, and for shedding. So even if you have had the vaccine, this book um, is really helpful to get you back on track. Excuse me. Yeah just to get your mindset right uh, and to clear out any resistance because I know recently there's been a lot of people who have been coerced into taking the vaccine and it wasn't their first choice to have it. And so we really got to make sure we get to the bottom of the resistance and the residual negative energy, the fear energy that's still in the body. So there are ways to get around that. So I encourage you to read this book or reach out to me it's uh, something I've been specialising in clinic. Uh, I've been absolutely flat out working full time with people who don't really know what to do with themselves. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's ways that we can support these people. So uh, let's move ahead. And I want to let you know that this group is offered for free, which is wonderful. So share it with your friends. Um, I, we, I am taking donations. So if you feel like you've gained something from this experience, it's an energetic exchange. So on my website, there's a donate, easy donate button, um, or you can get my bank details, however it is you'd like to donate, make a donation. It's whatever feels, feels good for you, whether you do or don't, there's no pressure. And part of those donations do go for impact, go to Impact for Women, which is a wonderful charity. And they uh, support women in cases of domestic violence and do many wonderful things for the community. So if you haven't heard of them before, Impact for Women, very, very prominent charity. Okay, so we're going to get into our meditation. So... Uh, I'm going to ask you now to get nice and comfortable. Have a sip of water if you need to run to the toilet if you haven't already. Just jump back in when you're here. So just feel your body resting where you are. So if you're lying down, feel your back and your legs on the bed or wherever. If you're sitting, feel the back of your back resting. And if it feels right for you, you can gently close down your eyes. And just notice where the breath is. See if you can feel or even hear the breath moving in through your nose. And feel the breath moving out of your body. As soon as we bring our awareness to the breath, we start to breathe more consciously. Being able to breathe deeper into the body and allowing the body to soften. On your next breath in, just scan through your body where you feel tension. Just notice this part of your body and just be okay with that tension. And on your next inhale, breathe into that tension and just say thank you for this part of your body. It's been holding space for you. It's been holding on to this stress for you. And it's done a wonderful job. This tension and stress that this part of your body 
or it might be many parts of your body or maybe your whole body. It's done a wonderful job to let us know that our body is not in alignment. So we're gonna say thank you to this part of the body. We're gonna say thank you to this stress. Thank you to the tension and let it know that we are now aware of this. And we now give this tension and stress permission to leave the body. So take in a nice big breath in, breathing into that tension. And on your exhale, imagine breathing out the tension. You may see it coming out like black smoke, gray smoke. Go and do it again. Breathe in nice and deeply, scooping up that tension and then purging out, purging out through the mouth and letting go of that heavy energy, thanking it as it leaves and freeing your body. Mm. So keep going, just go a little deeper, breathe in a little more and see if you can scoop up more Anywhere in the body where it's feeling heavy. And softening and relaxing your legs, relaxing your feet, relaxing your pelvis, relaxing your lower back and your middle back, relaxing your tummy. Relaxing your upper back and your shoulders, feeling your neck softening and your face softening. Feeling your arms relaxing, your fingertips letting go. And just feeling into your beautiful face, letting your eyes soften, your cheekbones relax, your nose relax feeling your jaw letting go and your whole body now enjoying this peaceful moment. <sighs> Many of us have been going through quite a lot big emotions, confusing emotions, some wonderful moments, some peaceful moments, a whole array of emotions, part of the human experience. What I'd like to do today is Allow our minds the opportunity to really slow down. To feel our body completely resetting. Clearing out any heavy energy, any resistance, any fear and giving the body an opportunity to revitalize, regenerate and feel that peace and calm. When we slow down the mind for a few moments, It allows more clarity throughout the day. It sharpens our concentration and our memory. It also allows us a moment in time to feel and think before we react to strong situations. 
allowing us to choose how to respond, choose our actions, maybe even redirect our thoughts. So we call in our guides, spirit, angels, and the beautiful beings of love and light. And even those who have passed over, who make up part of our spiritual support team, we welcome all of us here in this moment, in this space. There are three types of meditation. The first is slowing down the mind and relaxation. These are often used as visual or talking meditations where we're listening, focusing on what is being shared to slow down our mind and our body. The second type of meditation is changing our belief patterns, our internal structures, doing healing work and internal growth work. These are also done with the aid of a practitioner and listening. The third type of meditation is when we create space in the mind. We allow our bodies to cherish and revel in the nothingness. And this is where we would like to play tonight. I'm going to ask all of us now to let go of our responsibilities. In this moment, you can be completely and 100% connected in with your soul's essence. with the true version of you. A place where you have no expectations. No roles to play. Nobody needs you. Nowhere to be, nothing to do simply enjoying this space. So let go of your responsibility of being a mum. Let go of your responsibility of being a daughter. Let go of your responsibility of being a friend, a partner, a carer. And feel into yourself when you let go of all of these labels, all of these roles that you play, and there's many more. And we peel you back to the true essence of you. In this space, there is pure love. In this space, there is no ego. Divine feminine energy drawing up from beneath you and sacred masculine washing down over you. 
surrounded by your spiritual support team. And here within your heart space, you are connected to your wise version of you. Feeling loved, feeling held, feeling soothed. Feeling safe, feeling nurtured. In this moment, everything is okay. In this moment, you are free. It feels really good to be you. We're going to play even more in this space now and go deeper. We're going to tap into the magic of pure meditation. We're going to find a few moments of nothingness of pure space. When we allow ourselves to be present here in these moments of pure space, these little moments add up together and they create an extraordinarily powerful manifesting energy. In the moment, it will feel like bliss. Quite simple. And in a group like this, relatively easy. But the true power of these moments of nothingness, of space, they actually come to fruition after the meditation in our daily lives we start to see more synchronicity, more flow, more feeling content and satisfied. The way we're going to do this today is I'm going to simply count down from three to zero and then I will say drop off. When I say drop off you will just allow your mind and your body to keep floating in space in the nothing and you will revel in this. If thought comes in, that's okay. Just allow it to drop away. And I will keep bringing us back to the space. See how you go. There's no pressure here. So let's take a breath in and relax. I'm going to count down and when I say drop off, you're going to just float in space, trying to let go of your thoughts and any sensations. Just float in the nothingness of bliss. Three, two, one, zero. Drop off. We go again. 
three, two, one, zero, drop off. Observing how you're going. The first few times you do this, it's not so easy. We'll do it one more time now. Three, two, one, zero, drop off. Now I'm going to ask for you to stay enjoying this peaceful moment. And whilst you're resting here, I'm going to read for you the Declaration of Self-Sovereignty. This is part two of the Rise Above ebook. It is a very powerful cleansing and protecting prayer. Something that is encouraged for us to go and read through or listen to each day. There is an audio recording on my website, on my, on my YouTube channel. Just allow these words to wash over you. As you feel the resonance and the encoding on each word, activate in your soul. When I say, say your name, please say your full name to yourself in your mind. I, say your name, proclaim a declaration of self-sovereignty for myself, say your name. I am in charge of my thoughts, body and soul through all time, space, dimensions and reality. I ask for soul recognition and to energetically cleanse and protect the entirety of my family lineage, loved ones, and those who cannot protect themselves or who have had their rights taken away. Breathe. I am strong and healthy. I make all my own choices in the highest resonance of universal consciousness. I stand in my truth. I am centered and grounded. I ask to search and find all my energy I have accidentally lost or sent out. I ask to bring my energy back to me, purified, and I anchor it at my core. I speak directly to the cells of my body and command that the guidance of my spiritual support team, that my DNA be sanctified and restored to its perfect double helix molecular structure. Through prayer and self-care, I create a healing environment and I trust in my body's own ability to release any toxins that may have accumulated from stress, trauma, external chemicals in the environment, pharmaceuticals or vaccines. I ask to seal my energy with a strong healthy boundary I ask to wrap my energy field and my family's energy field in blue green light that only divine guidance can pass through. Breathe. Let it be known, I reject and refuse any agreement, influences or contracts of entrapment that hold the intention to deceive, manipulate, 
exploit, control, harm or negatively influence my being, my family's being and those who cannot protect themselves or have had, who have had their rights taken away. I cleanse and protect my mind, soul, spirit, body and DNA. I cleanse and protect my physical place of habitation, vehicle and workspace. I reject and dispel any interfering negative energies, dark forces, negative artificial intelligence or negative technologies, entities, electromagnetic fields, thought forms, patterns, programs, including any energies trying to get to me through manipulating my loved ones or pretending to be of light or source energy. I set this clearance by an infinite number of times, by an infinite number of times, by an infinite number of times, to beyond the beyond, and so it is. Breathe. I acknowledge the current state of affairs, seen and unseen. I forgive humanity and the leaders of this world for losing their way, for forgetting the light from which they were created. I send them love, blessings and forgiveness and pray that they eventually return to the love and light of source energy. I thank them for this fear pandemic, for being the catalyst for change, for waking up our world and for us to take the healing of humanity and the restoration of our planet seriously. I thank them for allowing this time for us to face our internal shadows, find love, connect with each other, to heal our hearts, heal our planet, and for us to ascend to this place on earth of truth, love, and freedom. So I thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. I forgive you. But this very clear boundary and this signal is no. I set this declaration in health, love and light. And so it is. Breathe. Feeling that beautiful space inside of you. Purified and cleansed. And remembering how powerful you are. Remembering all that you've been through and that you are still here, still standing strong, still believing, thriving and knowing that we're here together. We're getting through this. Each day is getting easier. And we hold our faith. We keep trusting because we know that this is going to be okay. We know we are okay. We've got our own back because we have always been there for ourselves. We are okay, we are strong. And coming together here in this space, we amplify the healing energy. And with this purification space, this divine love that we've created here in this moment, we send it out to the universe, send it out to the planet, 
to our loved ones and the leaders of this world. We've got this. Everything is going to be okay. Breathe into your heart space and feel that hope there in your heart. Feel that feeling of content in your heart, that knowing, yes, yes, feel it in your heart. It feels good. Don't be shy, let it grow. Dream it up, grow it up, amplify it. Let it spread through your body. This is just how amazingly powerful we are. Okay. So just notice where the breath is at now. Notice if the body's feeling lighter, calmer, more relaxed. And it's time to come back to the body. Feel your legs, wiggle your toes, feel your arms, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your nose. <laughs> Take a nice, slow, deep breath. Have a stretch and a yawn if it feels good for you. Ah. So well done, everybody. That uh, is a different type of meditation. Um, it's very traditional in, uh, in other cultures and religions. Um, I'm sure it has special names. Uh, thank you for enjoying that with me.